everybody, it's me, Oswald, and I'm going to shout your name out with the help of my best friend and soon-to-be best man, Name Frame. Say hi, Name Frame. Best man. Yup. Remember last week when I said on the show that I was all single and on the prowl for a girlfriend? Yeah. Well, I got a whole bunch of lady types who said that they want to be my girl. So it's only like a matter of hours before I'm all girlfriended up and then marriage. Don't you think that's moving a little too fast? Slow love is for boring people. I am a fast love kind of monster. Why waste months and months and years when you can get right to the marriage stuff in like an hour? Well, good luck with that. Let's do the shout outs. Ezra Henderson. Hey. Um. All the cue card says is say something funny about the name Ezra Henderson. What's that supposed to be? Where's the joke come around? I think you're supposed to improvise the joke stuff. I am? Um, okay. Uh, hey, Ezra, uh, I'm gonna improvise your joke. Uh, I need a profession and a place. No, just improvise something else. I need a profession and a place. Okay, um, you are a monster spokesperson. Awesome. And a place? You are in a studio where you're doing a shout-out se segment with a magic picture frame. Got it. I am a monster doing a shout-out section with a magic picture frame. Um, oh, that's going to be tough. That's going to be a real tough one to improvise. But I will try. <clears throat> hey, jerk face. Stupid name. There, was that good? No. David Cortez 1. David Cortez 1, creative YouTube name, Zero. Come on, David, you got to up your YouTube game, man. It's easy. First you gotta do is take something that you like a whole lot. Like, for example, um, waffle iron plugs. You know, the electrical plugs for waffle irons. And then you take a cool number like a hundred or a thousand or like uh, 99 or like 566. Then you mushes those things together and you got your new tune, YouTube name, which is Waffle Plugs 566. And if that name's already taken, then you can add like more words like forever or for life or lover. So now you can have a name that's like Waffle Iron Lover for Life 566. And if that name is already taken, then you can add like X's at the beginning and the end of it. So it'll be like XXX Waffle Plug Lover for Life 566XXX. And if that name is taken, just keep adding X's until you have something that is unique to you. See? Simple. Now do it. Simplicity in a second. That's me all over. I am simple and I like seconds. Like uh, seconds of pie, seconds of cake, seconds of fistfuls of gummy bears. I also like thirds, fourths, and 193rds. Crazy cat gentleman. Oh, fancy. But I'm confused. Are you a gentleman who prefers crazy cats? Or is you a gentleman who is a crazy cat? Oh, please be a gentleman who is a crazy cat, like with a three-piece suit and like a drink of tea with your pinky up and all that. Like, good day, I am Lord Pedinky Paws, because that would be adorable. Unless you're the kind of crazy where all you do all the times is like throw poops at people and say stuff like your mailbox is your grandma. Because poop flinging is not adorable, even if you is a fluffy cat in a three-piece suit and a monocle. Okay, all done. So, you want to help me plan the wedding name frame? Why don't we try finding you a girlfriend first? Boring. Come on. You know you want to be my best man slash wedding planner. Okay, you got me. What kind of theme do you want for your wedding? The most romantic kind of wedding there is. A surprise wedding. Um, how does that work? Well, on the first date with your future wife, you say something like, Hey, do you like food? And then she says, Yes, I like food. But the question you asked, do you like food, is love code for marry me and be with me forever. Then, you're married. That's not how that works. Yes, it is. No. Dream killer. Oh, 
Trudeau here with even more suggestions for what you could have done instead of watching YouTube. Lifelong Learner says instead of watching Time Warped Puppets on YouTube, I could have been looking for a way to kick my compulsion to reply to religious relatives on internet media sites before they all stopped speaking to me. No wait, maybe that would be a good thing. Any time that you can depopulate social media from with your relatives, it's a good thing. There's nothing more I hate than trying to be witty and a little ribald, you know, with a little saucy language on Facebook or something, only to have my Aunt Bernice say, Oh, Trudeau, how could you? Which is why I just started posting pictures of my junk everywhere. Most of my relatives just unfriended me right away. They got off of my Instagram and they got off my Tumblr. They all just ignore me altogether. Even at social gatherings. Or my birthday. Hmm, maybe this wasn't such a great plan after all.